What's up guys, my name is Ripley Gamer and welcome back to the Slime Rancher Honey Farm Challenge with my little bouncing babies. I now have three corrals full of slimes. Two of them are Lago based and only one of them are my super cute honey slimes. They're so cute, I love them. And I just managed, they all just like, just as I was finishing the last video because I'm continuing straight off, they just had like a burst of plorts. <laughs> so now I've got the plort collector. There, which is here. This is like gonna get irritating because of I never really put my crowds up here. I still gotta give these guys and my pink Lagos uh, music boxes to calm them down and stuff. Because you know, happy slimes are. I don't know. A happy slime is a good slime, but the goal for this one is to make enough money. To open up, start opening up the cave. If we can open up the cave, if we can open up the cave, and maybe get some tabbies going on over there, we can start to expand and start going to the other areas. We also have to start collect. Also, I do want to get the overgrowth open. I want to get the overgrowth open because that's got an abundance of chickens. Yeah, you guys are fine. You guys are fine. Good thing about it, they only give us single ones because these are the quiet ones. I don't need solar shields on these guys because, you know, they just don't need them. Oh my god. I'm standing. I'm standing. I'm so sorry, my baby. I'm standing on you. Uh, that tree's fine. That tree's fine. These trees are fine. I should definitely start another mint mango tree for the tabbies. So, goal is to actually we should open up the overgrowth and get get the chickens and the tabby open and get and then um, get the get the fat tabby um first because that leads me to another area because he's sitting on teleports. Those tabbies are always sitting on teleports for some reason. Are they like are they meant to be like real cats? Because ooh, this is some funky music. The name's Ogden Ortiz. Ortiz. I'm a slime rancher, much like yourself, but I mostly fancy myself as a farmer. I came to the far, far range to grow fruits and veggies the way we used to back on Earth, by getting down into the soil and getting your hands dirty. Did you know that carrots improve your night vision? Yeah, seriously, they do. I don't see why our ranchers just don't gobbling them down every chance they get. Being lost down the range at night can be dangerous. Well, don't let me ramble on ya here. We'll be in touch about the range exchange. I only tend to free slimes that eat fruits and veggies. So expect those kind of requests from me. Good one, Ogden, because I too am going to be a fruit and veggie. Fruit and veggie honey farm. Looking forward to doing business with you. Oh, oh. P.S. Every hill, gill of ginger is some mythical veggie that's said to be the favorite food of the equally mythical gold slam. But some say that neither of them actually exist. That is true. I don't... I've never actually seen a... Uh, I've never seen the... um. I've seen the gold slime, but I don't think Gilla Ginger exists. Ogden! Oh, sure, I can do that, no problem. So. And then you need four mint mangoes, so. Oh. And then two Q berries, I believe. This being the easiest one. What are you giving me? He's giving me chickens. He's giving me 13 chickens, 15 chickens and money. Also got an email from Casey. Oh, he gave me bright hands. Come here, you. Now we gotta get that open, so we need... Well, they've all just eaten, so... The honey should be... yeah. Do you guys pop my uh, tortoise range? This should also be tortoise range as well. Yeah. And... These should also be slow as shit. No, it's not. It needs to be. Can't just have them eating like 
all the time because goddamn, I'll just run out of food. 829 is so close. This needs... 1795, that is quite a lot of money. So this is the this is the episode where we raise money for our <laughs> for just ten pounds a year. You can help feed five million slimes. Do you get that in America? I guess like charities are a big thing in Britain. I figured they would be in America as well. Cause um we get a lot of like two pounds a month can like feed a child and that kind of shit. Like it's not a bad thing, but every year there's there's two things. There's like two specific kind of big charity events that the BBC hosts every every year or so. There's Red Nose Day, which takes place around February, which is raising money, buying the oh, here you go. I'm just getting like my lucky day. I think he left. Yeah, I think he left. Either way, I just got like so much. M I just got like a couple hundred out of out of that little 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 bouncy boy, little bouncy baby. It's the lucky slime. Yes, yeah, so we get red nose day every. Like in February's and we get so every November I think it's every November. To be fair, I haven't been watched. I don't have a TV, which should shock a lot of people. But because everything's online now, there's no point in me but getting a television license just to watch TV. <clears throat> oh, Moki Miles sent me an email, and so I just kind of I've kind of lost count on like what. You, what November is supposed to be this year? Is it Children in Need or which is our November event? Or are they skipping that this year to do Red Nose Day in February? I don't know. But yeah, every, like November is Children in Need, which is basically children's charities. Like it's the big focus. We also have Red Nose Sports, which sometimes takes over Red Nose Day. And that's just basically about getting kids, getting poor kids into sports because Poor kids need exercise. Yeah. But yeah, children needs a big one. So we have like all the children is it is the biggest children's charity. And every and like November will come round and it'd be Pudsy Bear, you buy the ears or the the eye patch. And you would raise money for charity for this charity. All the while the BBC is hosting an event with celebrities and comedians and they're all talking about the children and they get those heartwarming videos about kids who are like, thanks for children in need, I had stuff to do on the weekend. It actually sounds like I'm making fun of children in need but I'm not. It is a pretty, it is like a pretty big charity. The only thing about it that bugs me is just because it's so it's televised. It's just a big television event now. It's a big television event and it would be good. It would be a good thing if it just didn't feel as televised. If it just if it just wasn't televised, I don't think. But one thing that is coming up that I'm probably gonna support this year is Poppy Appeal. And I know, I don't even know if Americans have poppies, but poppy appeal is basically, for those of you who don't know, poppy appeal is basically to celebrate and remember the veterans of World War One. So you buy, because it's something to do with a big field of poppies, but every year the Queen lays a wreath out on the big memorial statue in London. And at 11 o'clock on the 11th of November in the morning, on the, at 11 a.m., we have a minute silence. And that's the overgrown, un overgrowth unlocked. So yeah, 
poppy appeal is a pretty big thing for Britain. Mostly in the sense because without it, you know, like, you know how America, like, America has Veterans Day, we have the poppy appeal and D-Day to remember things. It's just our way of remembering World War, because we had a, like, Britain had a huge role in World War One, and the amount of soldiers we lost was... It was awful. I, I actually had... I learned about this from my gran and my mum. I think it was... A, it was a great, great uncle, I believe, who died in, um... who died in France in the trenches. I think he was, um... Because my gran had the telegrams. My gran had the telegrams from the correspondence with um, the army from when he was um, being treated because I think he was hit by a shell and he was like injured pretty severely. He wasn't, he wasn't very old. I think he was like, he was like 20, 20 years old. 20 years old and died in France. And it was quite, it's quite, a, it's quite an interesting thing because I wasn't sure if I had any relatives in World War One at the time. But no, I did have one who died so young. It's quite interesting as it is heartbreaking. There you go. We're going to go feed the big fat cats. We got 30 and then so we're going to go and find 20 more when we're done. Because <laughs> this thing cannot hold 50 items and that rock one just killed himself there he is look at the little big fat cat oh god no oh god i lost the chicken oh god I'm being moved. Is it the wind? Okay, I think I might need 21 chickens because I might have lost one in the aftermath. I think I lost a chicken. But yeah, interesting fact about me you learned today also how I view charities, or at least the big televised charities that Britain hosts every year. And also uh, how I... What else did I talk about? Oh, stony hens. Hey, little stony bastards. Ow. He's hurting me. Eight, nine. Right, so. Gonna need. Ow! Why? What did I ever do to you? I gotta get more chickens. More chickadoos, more chickadees, more hen hens. So they're hen hens, they're not chickens, but they just they look like chickens, so it's easy just to say, hey, they're chickens. Luckily, there's an abundance of chickens, and they all got refreshed in here. It's weird how you can like get, I know, slimes to like sort of grow in here or like start thriving in here, just like naturally. I hear them. Where are they? There you are. Just, I can hear them in my surround, in my headphones that have surround sound, but I can't see them because this is the overgrowth. Also, over here is the uh, docks, which we don't have enough money to get. So this is more hen hen hunting.
Oh. Bad. Bad. Tyrus, I'm getting out of here. He can just murder all the slimes. That should be enough, chickens. Okay, hearing that in my own ranch is disturbing. Hearing that in my own ranch is very disturbing. Also, it's been... Okay, Alexander to Thanksgiving tiller. Fuck you, at Paul. Oh. So basically, yeah. Our friends who lived with Americans last year wants to celebrate Thanksgiving. And also, he's got a friend who's American. And she's not going home for Thanksgiving because you can't because it's in the middle of the goddamn second half of the semester. Come on, open wide. Nah. Oh god. Yeah, so here's the other area I unlocked. Not what I wanted to do, I actually wanted to unlock the crates. I'm a cruel person. So here is the island that this has sent me to. This has cute things. It's also got puddle slimes. And I believe there's also another Gordo up there. Let's go look for him. What, nine? Got 13. Let's just pause and I'm gonna look. At my... Oh, looks the static teleporter to Ring Island. Yeah, there's a pink order on Ring Island which needs 30 of any food item. So, we can come back another time for that. I want to do these in order because he drops a key. And the more keys I find, the better because we need the keys. to unlock parts of the map and we're going to need a key to get to the glass desert. If I got that key from that one I'd be able to unlock the area that leads into the lost ruins. But I also need a key to get to the glass desert. Also if I can get 10 grand and open up the um, science lab I can start getting... That should allow me to get treasure pod crackers. I don't need the carrots. That leads to Ogden's ranch. And let's put this tabby where it belongs. In the exchange. 20 nut Jesus Christ, the stock market is just terrible today. This past two sessions have had really terrible stock market. I know what's been going on. Hey guys. I got food for you. Do you guys know what's been going on? Do you know why there's such a terrible stock market today? Ah, of course they wouldn't know. Of course they wouldn't know the slimes. The job is to not be worried. Slimes are like a literal Akuna Matata. They just have no worries, except when tasks come around, then it's not Akuna Matata. Alright, I could open up the cave if I had enough money. Actually, I should probably use all the money I, profits I get from these plots and maybe start buying upgrades because I'm going to need to start buying the upgrades. 
so let's grab them honey plorts. Man, I can't wait till I get the toys. I get the toy um, slime toys, then I can start calming you guys down. Yeah, I'm already at 1895. It's like, do I unlock the cave? Or do I just keep... Do I unlock the cave or do I just... Stay happy? Or even better, we could unlock that. One, two, three. Even better. We still got time. We still got like another 10 minutes on this video. Yeah. So sorry, my babies. Mommy's gonna have to leave you. My god, you guys just keep shitting out plots all the time. Are you guys just constantly hungry? Seriously. These things are always hungry. I need to check your feeding schedule. You're still slow as ever, but... You're still thinking you're hungry all the time. That's why growing farms next to your corrals, smart thing, because then you'll just like right next to them. Also, when they get hungry, they could just look at the tree. <laughs> they could just look at the tree and wait for it to grow. That'll stop. This should drop me enough. Also, when I'm done with all my recording, because I've still got to get through a dark, two Dark Souls videos. I might just start doing one Skyrim video at a time because the game is slightly unstable. And have a. Uh, so I might just start doing five videos a day and not one. Actually, we need to rest. Shame I don't have a silo yet, but I want to put the silo where the. Uh, might want to put the silo where this thing is. Mokey Miles, a wannabe rancher, far existence, far away space rock. And Mokey Miles, is it? As Miles in Tatsuya Miles, the billionaire. Mm. The Death Hike. What a. What a lovely name. Okay, you guys should be fine. I'm off. Still got two corrals, still got two plots here. So pretty much everything over there is filled, just got the cave and the overgrowth. Once I fill up this bit, I'll open up the cave, check in there for space, and then see about doing the overgrowth after. Also I have two grand, so I was gonna get some upgrades, so we'll do that first. Upgrades, then the big fat Largo. Because big fat logos give big profits. No. I'm just talking random bullshit now. But as soon as I'm done with all my videos, I'm going to get back to watching Charmed. Which is... It's like, it's kind of cheesy, but I really enjoyed the show just because it's magic and stuff. Oh yeah, the dash boots, so... Purchase that. Okay, I could buy everything. That was good. Now my heart rate is at 2200. My tank boost is at 150. It's nice music. Oh yeah, I got um I can have more now. I must have got a tank booster. Which now gives me 40 spaces. Ideally, you can only go up to 50 spaces, uh, up to 250 on your health and um, vax, uh, vac tank. You're awake at daytime, that's not going to be good for you. Alright, let's start. No, that's not what I wanted to do. Archive of our own. 
Of course, they're sending emails. I gotta make. I gotta check to make sure like the emails don't pop through. I'm not sure if they do. But if so, I'm gonna maybe crop, <laughs> cut those bits out. It's no delay, so it shouldn't have appeared in the game. I don't know. Yeah. Alright, we've got to find where that is. He's over here somewhere. He's up there. There we go. Not so hard. He just bounced around enough. There he is. Look how happy he is. If only he knew. Okay, you're gonna have to... How do you do that? No, that's not what I want to do. There we go. It's B, not X, because I use a controller. Oof, that sound. Okay, that was surprisingly. That's surprisingly good. Again with the vegetables, I should start growing a carrot garden and heartbeat garden. Oh my god. Where did he go? I think... I don't know what the gold, gold, gold slime was doing in there, but... I hear Tars. The thing is though, is they're allergic to water. So you start hearing the music that will die away and you're just like, they fell in the water, didn't they? Alright, let's go put this gold plot into the exchange because... Oh, it's going to be a lot of money. It's going to be a lot of money on the market. And who's next on our Gordo explosion list? Next is the Moss Blanket. Honey Gordo needs 25 mint mangoes. So we've got to find the Honey Gordo next. So he's next on the list. We'll probably do him in the next episode. Because I want to at least start bursting. Like in the areas I have open, I want to at least get the Gordos in that area. So, because this, this episode's almost up. So we had enough time. Look how fast I can run now with my little dash boots. Oh, I gotta play some Dark Souls after this. Actually, maybe an episode of Skyrim, then Dark Souls. Alright, what's the. What's the. It went down. Jesus. Everything's going down. Just like, what is wrong with this goddamn, like. Just what is wrong, my babies? What is wrong with the with the market? With the market this week? It's being absolutely awful. It is also day seven, so we've been living on this ranch a week. We've been living on this ranch a week. And already we have three corrals. Did I say four at some point? We got three corrals worth of of slimes you guys eat anything just have some carrots now we're getting somewhere seven z corporation so maybe before maybe before we end this episode we'll start the seven z corporation corporation stuff you guys look so happy. It's a shame they only give you four, 
four plus water that's not enough because it used to be there was a, like you had to fill up a whole tankard with like like one of your four spaces with them um, water so you always had like three which was just never enough yeah it's just not good so we got so the seven Z club would like to extend a very special offer to you an invitation so now we are rank two which is Upgraded this bit a little bit. And it's an offense upgrade, but I might be next. It was also a path upgrade, I believe. Either way, now that we're making money, so I'm gonna leave this episode here. Thank you guys so much for watching me play the Slime Rancher Honey Farm Challenge. I hope you're enjoying this as much as I am, because I'm loving this. And uh, let me know in the comments if uh, you want me to search for any specific kind of slimes to start those Largo combinations early. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye bye! Hello lovers of mine, my little boy wishes of fortune's kisses now dreams cast aside in the fading light your crown of thorns becomes a halo of branching